I'm going to continue talking about Power Pivot in Microsoft BI by showing an example of a Power Pivot application. Here I have what looks like a perfectly normal Excel file, showing a graph and a table comparing Contoso and industry sales data. What makes this special is where the data is coming from. I'm going to go to the Power Pivot tab and click on the Power Pivot window button. This launches a new window for the interface with Power Pivot. There are multiple sheets available to me now. Each of these corresponds to a table of data. Some of them, like this fact sales table, have quite a lot of data in them. I can find out where the data is coming from by going to the Design tab and clicking on Table Properties. This particular table has been taken from a sales table in a SQL database. By clicking on the Existing Connections button, I can get a summary of where all the data is coming from in this Power Pivot file. I have some data coming from Excel, some from SQL, and some from a local connection file. There is a range of options available to me for linking to both Microsoft and non-Microsoft sources. Now I've got my data here in Power Pivot, I need to display it in a way that's understandable. Back in the Home tab, I can click on the drop-down below Pivot Table and choose to design an element. I'll go for the pivot chart. I'll put it in a new worksheet of this file. This interface will look familiar if you've designed pivot tables and charts in Excel 2007 or 2010. The big difference is that the fields I can choose from are from a potentially enormous selection of data sources. I can build up a pivot table of the sales amounts of different product classes by the seasons of the promotions. This is information in three different tables being pulled together seamlessly into this one chart.